Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. I have a telescoping tree pruner. Now this one is a Fiskars brand, but uh, they, they're all pretty much similar. But this one has a problem. You might notice uh, that it doesn't have the rope uh, that kind of pulls the little uh, trimming blade shut. So um, after years of operation, uh, well, the rope just broke off. And this is a common uh, thing for many people. Uh, eventually the rope breaks and you have to replace it. And today I'll show you how to replace it. So my trimmer still has a sawtooth blade for the larger branches. So I'll just first take that off, kind of get it out of the way. And then we could take a closer look at how this thing works. Now the main cutting blade works kind of on a pulley system. You have these two little pulley wheels, uh, one on top, which uh, is attached to the arm that actually moves, and a fixed one that's right below the blade. And so the first thing you'll notice up on top of the little lever arm uh, below that main pulley there, there's a little, little kind of connection point. You can kind of see it here. And that's where the end of the rope uh, is tied. But first we have to get it through the pulleys. So we're going to take our rope and first we're going to kind of uh, spindle it through the top pulley, kind of from the outside in, as you can see here. And then after that's done, we're going to bring the end of the rope down to the lower pulley attached to the, the pole arm itself and kind of thread it on the pole side to the outside, as you can see here. And then lastly, we're just going to tie the end of the rope to the little uh, connection point below the upper pulley, as you can see here. Now there's a little hole at the end right there that probably is where the rope originally attached to, uh, but we don't really uh, need to thread it through there. We could just kind of tie a knot, kind of thread it through and tie a knot at the end, as you can see here. And with that done, you have successfully replaced your rope to your pruner. And so you should be able to start pruning your trees after this. Now I do want to replace my little uh, sawtooth cutting arm uh, before I start pruning. I also like to tie some knots in the rope below. So uh, it, it provides me additional gripping power as I pull it. You could uh, put knots every foot or two uh, as you need. I also like to tie a little hoop at the end of the rope. Uh, originally, I think there was a little uh, handhold that I lost years ago, but you could just do it with a little loop like you could see here. And there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.